I had a vision of a gathering place, a place where my friends from all of Asia could come and be with me, but yet I'd have my own private place, a place to swim, a place to retreat, a place to base when I've been working and traveling around Asia. The first house began with a pool and a few rooms and the space beside me became available and I expanded to create the retreat or village, uh, if you will, that we have today that many have come and enjoyed and I hope that many more will come and enjoy as well. Villa Pandawa was an abandoned building um, that has been converted into four suites uh, that are part of the villa complex. I acquired the buildings so that there wouldn't be uh, overdevelopment next to what I had initially created. Many say that Villa Pandawa looks like a Buddhist temple and, and to me it's a temple to the beautiful environment and the beautiful spirit of Bali. Ubud is recognized as one of the world's yoga centers. Many of our guests come to practice yoga or train for yoga in many of the sites that are available. But guests have asked, why can't we have a spot here? So we built this special spot close to the forest, close to the river, so people could practice yoga in the beautiful setting of Villa Bejienda. One of the special aspects of Villa Bejienda is its proximity to the Om River. The river is held sacred by the Balinese and originates above the monkey forest, a central feature of, of Ubud. We thought that this special spot with the sounds of the river rushing by would be a wonderful spot for a spa and a relaxing massage in the afternoon as the sun sets and the river rushes by. I'm a swimmer. I do laps for exercise, and I really built this pool for me. It's one of the only 25-meter pools found in any residential setting in Ubud. Now, all the guests can enjoy this lap pool, just as I do, for exercise and for simple relaxation. Each of the suites at Villa Bejienda are unique. Many of them are filled with furniture and artifacts that I've acquired in my travels and work around the world. Each of the suites is designed to fit beautifully within the environment of Bali. Five percent of the villa returns are invested in the Bali Care Foundation or Bali Paduli Foundation. Bali Paduli was started in 2011 when I started getting phone calls because young men were dying from HIV. People knew that I was an HIV care physician and when young men didn't have access to services, didn't have access to antiretroviral treatment that was affordable and easy to access, people wanted to help in the community. And with their help, we started a free clinic that allowed young men to come to a friendly, efficient, uh, comprehensive health service delivery point. And we now have, examined and, and started many, many hundreds of young men on treatment. Over 5,000 people have been tested and we have close to 500 young men on treatment now for HIV.